This is Norman Borlaug. This may seem like a normal man, but he was responsible for saving millions by creating a plant. So what is his story and how did he do it? Norman was born on March 25th, 1914 near Sod, Iowa, along with his sisters, Palma, Charlotte, and Helen. From age 7 to 19, he worked on his family farm west of Prodovan, Iowa, and attended a one-room schoolhouse in Howard County where he learned about the harsh conditions of prairie farm life. There's still a lot of uh, hungry, miserable people in the world. Uh, and without food, a lot of the other uh, things that we take for granted that being essential uh, aren't very meaningful. Food scarcity was a common problem in their area, and parents of students at that school worked together to combat this. Norman's skills in athletics led him to attend the University of Minnesota, where he majored in forestry. After graduating in 1937, he worked for the United States Forest Service, but returned to university and studied plant pathology. He received his PhD in 1942. In 1944, Norman participated in the Rockefeller Foundation's pioneering technical assistance program in Mexico, where he was in charge of improving the production of wheat as there were problems with producing wheat in that area. During this time, he would develop variants of wheat with better disease resistance, high yield potential, and able to adapt with changing temperatures better than the wheat in that area. Food scarcity became less of a problem in Mexico thanks to Norman's new wheat variants, and it would soon spread to Latin America and Asia. This sparked the Green Revolution. His wheat variant is said to have saved more lives than any person who has ever lived. He died on September 12, 2009 in Dallas, Texas, but he'll forever be remembered as a hero.